Greetings, Great Witch here. So if you are looking for the silver earrings to complete the bison horn talisman, uh, you are in luck. There is a way to find them, almost guaranteed. Because maybe if you're like me, you sold them in a mad dash to get as much money as you could, or you just haven't even found them yet. So if you are looking for them, all you have to do is rob a train. Easy guaranteed way to find them. Now, I am in no way suggesting the way that I robbed this train is the right way to do it. This is really my first time robbing a train outside of a story mode mission by myself. So, it didn't really go as exactly the way I wanted it to, but it did work out in the long run. So the first thing I did is I just went up and just started wasting all the guys that are guarding the train. And I didn't realize that I had explosive rounds in my shotgun, so it was pretty quick work. That guy, you know, he really got taken out bad. It's horrible. But anyway... Just moved up to the front real quick, and then you got a GTA style, throw the guy out who's driving the train. And that way you can take it over and start driving it. So you just come up in here, grab this dude, push him out the window. He gets real upset about it, but he'll get over it. And now all you have to do is hit X to accelerate and just drive the train away. Now while you're driving this train, this train has a dead man switch, which means you have to stay here and hold the acceleration down or the train will slowly come to a stop. But while you're here, make sure you use the L3 button to hit the whistle. Because if you're stealing the train, you have to hit the whistle. I mean, if you're not, why are you even doing this? But, like I said about the dead man switch, you have to stay here until you get to a place that you can actually rob the train where they can't get to you. And the best place is on a bridge. And there's a perfect one right after Rig Station. So you want to head here and just stay on the gas until you get about halfway out, and then you can stop it. Because then the train will slowly coast and you'll be fine. So get out about right about this area. And you can start breaking. And then just head into the back and start robbing people. There you go. Move your way to the back. Now the fun begins. Now I actually lucked out and got what I needed off the first person that I robbed. This woman right here had the earrings. But since I was committed to a train robbery, I went ahead and got it the loot from everybody else, and I actually got two more earrings from another woman that was in here too. So I'm going to try to do this again to get other jewelry that I need for other talismans, but I don't know if it's going to work yet. So then after I was done with that, I looted the rest of the train, blew up the safes, and then collected all that loot, and then just jumped back in the driver's seat and took off again. And basically what I'm going to do is just drive this off just to get away from those cops that are right down there below me, and then as soon as I can get to where my horse is close enough, I'm going to just jump off the train, and that will be pretty much that. But I wouldn't call this a successful train robbery. This is more like a successful failure. I got what I wanted, but I also did get a pretty big bounty. Even though I don't really, I'm not worried about it, I got plenty of money, it's still, that's, that's a lot of bounty for a train robbery. So here it is. My horse is close, and I'm just going to jump off. And then I'm going to ride over to the post office, pay this huge bounty, and then go to the fence to get my talisman but all in all it was worth it because I was not going to search anymore for these earrings and even though it did mess up my honor rating a little bit it's okay so I got what I needed all right well I hope this helps you out and I will see you next time peace